With 2016 being the 60th year anniversary of desegregation on campus, Murray State University had the honor to welcome Martin Luther King III as guest speaker for the 12th annual Murray State Presidential Lecture Series. Eleven guest lecturers have preceded Martin Luther King III in the lecture series. From the late Benazir Bhutto. And as I took my final leave of my father from the death cell, I was determined to fulfill his dream for a democratic Pakistan. To Desmond Tutu. What's happened to us that we don't use our noggins? And to Ben Stein. I love the racers, and I, I uh, told my uh, producer at Fox I couldn't be on the show today because I had to be with the racers, and he said, go racers, go. He apparently had gone here. I'd never known it, but God bless you. All the lecturers throughout the past 12 years have made lasting impressions for the Murray State community year after year. This year's lecturer, Martin Luther King III, son of civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr., spoke to a large crowd of students, faculty, and staff inside Lovett Auditorium. Before his lecture focusing on civil rights in the 21st century, King fielded questions at a press conference in front of an audience that included students from the We Are Brave program, designed to challenge students in grades K through three to be strong and victorious in all that they do. My father and his team and many others contributed significantly toward the modern civil rights movement, creating the consciousness for a Civil Rights Act of 1964, a Voting Rights Act of 1965, fair housing legislation in 1968. So in one sense, probably in the 80s and 90s, most people were saying, well, civil rights, what, why, why do we even need to be addressing that issue? Isn't that already done? Well, the reality is, is we, if we look at what has occurred uh, in many areas around our nation over the last uh, three to four, maybe five years, we've seen a nation that has become more divided and not working together collectively for the good of all Americans. Even though King believes America is becoming more divided, it is his hope that Americans will come together and be more active in governing. No matter what we as a society in terms of who's going to lead our nation particularly. It's not, it's not just the president. The president has a significant role. He or she uh, will have a significant role. But it really is the American people who have to be engaged in governing. I, I hope that more uh, people vote in this coming election than have ever voted uh, before. Mary Ford Holland, the first African-American student at Murray State, first stepped on campus in the summer of 1955 and set in motion 60 years of history and significant contributions by Murray State's African-American students, faculty, staff, and alumni. King shared his thoughts on the historical milestone at Murray State. I think it's, it's wonderful that, that Murray State is, has chosen and should be uh, acknowledging the fact that, that 60 years ago integration occurred. I mean, that's, that's really phenomenal uh, as, as you think about it. And the fact that... Um, Every time an anniversary occurs, we can look back and look at our progress. We can say, we've made progress. Have we made enough progress? The answer may be yes or no. Um, I would tend to say probably no, but it does not mean progress has not been made. The Presidential Lecture Series is sponsored by the Murray State Foundation, Murray State's Office of the President, and the Student Government Association. A committee works almost a year in advance to select the guest lecturer. We wanted someone that really represented uh, the civil rights movement. No one could have done better than Martin Luther King III. Just hearing him talk at the press conference alone, very, very intelligent man, and he had me every single word he said. I was just itching to hear more. 